वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी गो टू सॉल्व दिस वेरी नाइस इंडेक्स प्रॉब्लम विच इज थ्री एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स इक्वल्स टू नाइंटी नाउ लॉर ऑफ पीपल फेल्ड बिकॉज दे डि नॉट अंडरस्टैंड टू डू दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन लिटरी स्टेप वाइज मेथड सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सॉल्व दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन The first thing which we can do is see we have what three x plus three x means we have two times three x, which is still equals to ninety. So what we will do is we'll divide both sides by two, okay. So my major job is to try and put everything in terms of I mean all the numbers on one side of the equal to. So this is forty five. So we are getting three x equals to forty five. Now this forty five can be written as what nine into five, and this is three x. Now why did I write it in terms of nine into five? Because see after this step, I can't do much. So instead of nine, I can write this as what three square into five. I'm trying to write everything in terms of three because your LHS is also in terms of three. After this step, I can't do much, so I'm going to use log on both sides. So now what we are getting is c, log of a raised to m. There are few rules of logarithm which we need to always remember. Log of a raised to m is nothing but what m log a. So here also you will get x log three. Okay. And next what we can do is here in your RHS. You have a product log of a into b, which is nothing but what log a plus log b. Okay, so this can be written as what log of three square plus log five. Okay. Next, what we can do is see we'll keep x log three as it is. And here we'll get it as what two log three because I'm using this same property of indices, and I'll keep log five as it is. Okay. Now, in order to find the value of x, I'll divide both sides by log three. Now, please understand. A lot of times people make the mistake of cancelling this and this. No, you can't cancel, especially when there is an addition sign in your numerator. So here, in this case, what happens is you can cancel this. So x equals to two log three upon log three plus here we have log five upon log three. So now we can cancel this and we will get this as nothing but what two plus log five upon log three can be written as log of five to the base three. Okay, this is also a property of logarithm. So this is your value for x. Now let's get back to the original question. So here we knew the value of x as nothing but what two plus log five to the base three. Okay, I'll put the value over here. So here we have what three raised to instead of x, instead of x we'll put three raised to two plus log five to the base three. Okay, now please understand whenever in any base you have an index which has an addition sign you can split the index like this a raised to m into a raised to n so here also instead of doing plus log 5 to the base 3 i can directly do into 3 raised to log 5 to the base 3 similarly for this particular 3 raised to x okay so 3 raised to 2 Into three raised to log five to the base three. Sorry, this was three. Okay. Now next, what I can do over here is see three raised to two is what nothing but nine. Okay. And here also I have this as nine. Okay. But what happens over here? Okay. This is very interesting. See a raised to log of A to the base, sorry, log of b to the base a means a and a same. Okay, in this case you can directly say it comes out to be b. 
so here instead of this entire thing i will just take the value of what into 5 and here also into 5 so 9 into 5 is what 45 plus 9 into 5 is also 45 so 9 45 plus 45 is 90 so that is your rhs of the question so i hope you understood how to solve these kind of problems okay now if they had given you log table then you could have taken those values and you could have substituted those answers in this particular solution okay so so here we could have taken x equals to 2 plus see log 5 upon log 3 value is nothing coming out to be but 1.465 so i could have said x value as nothing but what 2 plus 1.465 that is nothing but what 3.465 okay now students i'm going to show you if the same question was asked and they had given you options okay 3x raised to 3x sorry 3x plus 3 raised to x equals to 90 and the options were given okay even if they had given you the log book but the options were quite very very obvious something like this 2 point something something 3 point something something 5 point something something if that is the case then i would suggest that instead of putting your energy and you know finding out all of those steps which we did previously just substitute round it off so 3 raised to 3 gets you what 27 plus 27 that gets you 54 okay and 3 point something something so it can come to the value of 90 now 3 raised to 4 itself is what 81 plus 81 that is much bigger than 90 okay so by default only you should have selected c as your answer this happens in lot of questions okay so there are times when they give you log book and all of that but you know if it is a multiple choice question and the choices are given in this manner then please understand nobody is giving you marks to find the decimal values yes but in the similar kind of question if the option a was three point something something b was also three point something something then you are stuck then you would better follow the log book okay but major point is that whenever you have these kind of questions please pay attention to your options okay if the options are clear cut then don't waste time in getting everything done okay because eventually whatever answer you get is going to be the same thing right so why waste your precious time especially when it comes to entrances like ip mat and cat gmat and all of that okay so i hope this is very very clear to every one okay that's it for today and definitely if you have a particular question in which you have doubts please mention so in the comment section i will definitely try to make a video on the same that's it for today i will see you in the next video